I built this cabinet that's going to be holding a microwave oven and I put together a video where I showed you how I kind of put the whole thing together and in this video I'm going to focus more on how I did the drawers. For the larger drawer I have this remnant piece of Baltic birch plywood. Those of you not familiar with it you can see lots of equal thickness plies and it's all hardwood. So here are the four sides for the larger drawer and I milled up these cap pieces and cleaned up these pieces with a hand plane and now I'm going to glue them. They're a little bit wider than the stock of course. Give me a little bit of overhang so they don't have to be quite so perfect on the glue up. If I use the blue tape trick to hold this down. So on this particular one either the board that I'm gluing on or the plywood underneath they weren't straight enough relative to each other so I put laminations of tape on one side and clamped it to coax them to move relative to each other and hold it centered. Here I have a carbide burnisher that I made in a previous video and this is carbide so it's pretty much harder than anything Definitely feel a burr. This area I just did is much smoother than actually the field of the plywood. So I'll give the plywood sides a quick scrape. And now I don't even have to sand them. There's lots of ways to flush trim a dressed edge like this. Uh, there are jigs you can put on a, on a router or a router table. There's ways you can manipulate your table saw to give you a nearly flush cut. But with all of those power tools, you want to always leave the edge a little bit proud and you're still going to have to clean it up a little bit anyway with either a scraper or a hand plane or sandpaper. I just think it's easier to put it on the bench and spend 10 minutes or so planing it. And I've found a lot of success on this episode using my great neck plane. I think largely because it's just a little sharper than the other planes. And I'm also using this number three that I did a video on recently. This has turned out well. But again, I just put a razor edge on the iron. And I also used the spoke shave. This has worked pretty well. I have had a fair amount of success using this little guy. Uh, again, I think because the iron is just really sharp. So any plane will probably do. I'm going to take the opportunity to finish these before I build the drawers. And I'm going to be using this product because it's pretty bulletproof. It's uh, solvent based so I use the brushes as long as I can then I throw them out. So I use uh, cheap disposable brushes. And this stuff is really good. It goes on really easy. It levels beautifully and it dries in 40 minutes or so to the touch and certainly within several hours you're ready for the next operation. And I happen to have this stuff, so I'm happy to use it up before it goes bad. And the cool thing, this is old style polyurethane. You don't have to be too careful brushing it on. It will level. And it has a nice working time, so you almost always have an opportunity to go back and look at what you've done and retouch areas that need it. So here are these pieces with the second coat on them. They're looking pretty good. I like that a lot. So these are the long sides of the tray drawer that's going in the toe kick and I have them capped so they're looking good. These two however I got these, these are a piece of one by and you can see they're significantly wider than the plywood. I think it's worth setting up a jig in the table saw. And I'm going to clamp a piece of plywood to the tall fence. So now if I run this piece against the board. The saw blade will just skim underneath and take off hopefully most of that edge. So I've been smoothing with just a Stanley Defiance hand plane. This is certainly nothing fancy but the iron is sharp enough. A little bit more of a lip there than would have been ideal to start with, but planing it only takes a couple minutes and it's very controlled. 
it's hard to go too far without realizing it. I can plane this right down to the veneer and even if I kiss the veneer a little bit I can see it in the hand plane and know that I've gone far enough. So here is the cabinet finished and I didn't record a lot of the final steps because they're pretty straightforward. But down here there is the toe kick drawer and this drawer opens up. You can see the dowel plugs for reinforcement. For these drawers, this was a tongue and groove joints and this is solid maple. This piece that we're looking at is a piece of MDF. I used MDF for two reasons. This is glued all the way around and MDF takes glue very well. Also you can get MDF in a quarter inch thick pieces and my dado stack uh, goes to a quarter inch so that was a particularly easy joint to make. On the inside, this piece here I glued on a piece of five millimeter plywood for two reasons. To give it a little bit more bulk and should you have to put a screw in there there's a little bit more wood on top of the MDF or a screw to grab. I don't have a thin strip ripping jig but I do have my feather board and this is 5 16 inch spacer and if I line up my feather board tighten it a little bit I can slide it down here give it a good cinch down and now I can move my fence and it's just hitting the feather board here Set the fence, and now I can set up the feather board, actually be a feather board, and this will give me a piece somewhere around a quarter inch, five sixteenths of an inch, it's not terribly critical. Just using a block plane to clean up some of the burn marks, and I've got this sitting on a recently made thin strip holding jig. I have these two pieces clamped to this straight board in the middle. Uh, they were a little bit sprung. They want to flare out a little bit on this end. So the concave sides of each board are on the outside. And I'm just trying to glue a top piece of maple on to dress up the edge. So this is all glued up. I use the rubber band on the spring clamp trick. I've got a fair amount of material to remove from either side of both of these pieces of plywood. So I have this set up on my table saw that I've shown before. So here is the drawer and I trimmed these two pieces. This one fits the short way one here fits the long way and this piece of plywood fits nice and snug in the drawer bottom. So this has had an hour or so to set up and there she is all glued up and the things work out. Fits like a glove. Took the time to put some short screws in the back to help lend some support. So the first coat's on, and I could sand it, but it's just easier to scrape it and you get similar results. I am going to sand the edges, however, lightly. They're a little too rough to try to scrape. this is all set. It's got two coats of oil polyurethane on it and I scraped it and it's feeling smooth. 
and sealed. The quality of the plywood is not so hot. I got an area in here that's kind of rough from the outer layer of the veneer, but there's not a lot I can do about that. But this should be relatively easy to clean should you need to. It will come out of the drawer for whatever reason you need. And it seems very solid, so I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with the strength of the partitions. The bottom of each of these drawers is half inch plywood, and it's sitting in a dado and glued all the way around. I've never had a problem constructing a drawer that way, and obviously the cabinets in a climate controlled environment. Obviously it does get a little drier here in the winter time, but I've never had one fail. And that's all I have. Hope you got something out of it. Appreciate you stopping by, seeing what I'm up to. Don't forget to check out the other video on this build. Please like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And as always, stay safe and keep your eyes out for the next one.